Hello, everybody, and welcome to It's 5 O'Clock Somewhere, the Drunken Talk Show, where anything goes. I'm your host, Coach Bola. Here's my bartender co-host. Epilite Laval. I'm not drunk yet, but we will change that before we're done. You know what? It's in your goddamn fucking contract. Just turn the fucking porno music off. <laughs> it's, in your go- it's in your goddamn contract to be drunk before the show, Epilite. What the fuck are you doing? Well, I fucked up last time. Last time I got so drunk, I forgot my lines. So, you know, mm. like, I'm trying to be somewhat professional, but... Uh, yeah. Yes. Also, as a um, as a bit of a legal thing, we gotta tell you, we did not write that bit of porno music you just heard. Sergius, who wrote the porno music? <laughs> um, Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com wrote the porno music. It's called Proto Funk. Porno yes. Funk. There you go. <laughs> yes. It's something like Already. that. Already. I wonder how traffic how he's getting your, because of this. Well, let's <laughs> see. <laughs> How was you know my what? week? So last week, yeah, how's your I been? said, um, what did I say? Oh, yeah, like the work closed down because of a raw <laughs> sewage pipe broke. So that was great on Saturday. I come oh. into work on Monday and um, we were shut down because of somebody had COVID and they were getting it deep cleaned. So that freaked me out since I wasn't feeling well already. Mm. then uh what else happened oh yes on wednesday friday or something apparently the person i sat next to in thanksgiving registered as positive so that was oh, bloody yeah. lovely why, why the hell did they come to thanksgiving dinner wow. when they had- i don't know i honestly deep down think my brother's been trying to kill my parents for a while now <laughs> but you know <laughs> at the same time <laughs> like i mean it's not like he was always pissed. He's like, how come we don't have a trust fund? And I'm like, Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Did you was he, was he... Drake? <laughs> Probably no. did. You know. I you did. Know. Uh, Either that or he was being out horny the... for later. But was no. he out of the wheel? <laughs> what? Was he off the No, wheel? that's the thing. My brother went to Haverford, then Penn Medical. He makes like $200, $300 an hour. And yet, I probably, as the bartender, make the least amount in the family, and I'm the one who takes care of our parents. So, I don't, <laughs> yeah. like, it, it comes down to like Mother's Day. I'm like, Mom, I don't really believe in Mother's Day because I tell you, Mom, every day, I don't I say I love you, Mom, don't I say, <laughs> Hey, I'm coming home from work. Do you want anything to eat, Mom? Da-da-da-da-da-da. But Bobby, mm-hmm. that motherfucker better get you a present. All right, I'm just saying, like. <laughs> It's it's always like, the, it's always it's always bitches named Bobby, isn't it? It's always a Bobby. You know, does, does he bitches use the, like, named Bobby. Oh, what was that? Hello. Does he always just Hello. use the like? No, I'm busy. I I, hey, I don't know. Like, mm, like, he, 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 the question was, does he always say he's busy? Like sometimes he does, but at the same time, he lives in San Francisco. But at least give my mom a fucking call, right? But anyway, yeah. anyway, thank you so much for joining. Um, so, and don't you have drunk news tonight? Yeah, we have. Hold on, sir. Just hold on a bit on that. No. <laughs> oh, no, we don't have news. Week in drunk news. I wanted to oh, make it shit. You know, timely. Uh, I wanted to do it perfectly this time. Uh, I don't oh, get yeah, much of an introduction, but it, there it is. There it is. <laughs> okay. One more time, sir. Just one more time. Come on. One more time. Do it one more time. No, no, let's, for, let's do it professional. For, 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 Come for, on. Yeah, there we now go. Now we can all fucking rest yeah. in peace. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. So according to an article by the Lincoln Knight, uh, a Lincoln doctor was suspended after turning up a drunk work. A turning up a drunk work. I can say that. <laughs> to work drunk. Jesus Christ. That's what I did on Tuesday. Well, anyway. Hey, I bartend. Well, I don't see the problem. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, she ended up. She ended up at the hospital she's working at, but in the A&E, which is like, you know, the emergency room. Because oh, I thought was that was a TV from... show or TV oh, station. Oh, yes, it is. Also. Oh. <laughs> Who is that? Who's that? Who said that? Some random girl. Uh-oh. Hi. Uh, why don't you have fun at the campfire? Yes, it's an 18, uh, 21 event. Bye bye. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) All right. A brand new event at Lincoln County Hospital has been suspended for nine months after turning up to work, having drunk an entire bottle of vodka. (laughs) Jesus Christ, is she (laughs) a lot of 
I actually shoot a. Uh, it's not the Russian thing. It's something that's kind of Russian, but not Russian. It's like when you get Russians off of Wish. What is that? Uh, the 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 the. the so you, just, you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, uh, yes, that's uh, the person who uh, doesn't drink. Anyway, continue, continue. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm curious to know <laughs> okay. what happened. So, yeah, so she, so she was drunk and disorderly at work because she drank an entire fucking bottle of vodka. She was uh, drifting in and out of consciousness. And I thought it was funny because she's a breast radiologist. I mean, uh, you have a job where you stare at breasts all day. How are you driven to, like, drinking at work? I don't know. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's a fair a point, bus, but slow. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm gonna follow up that one. But yeah, so she was like, like waking up drunk and disorderly, trying to fight some of the doctors, and that's just a big kind of hilarious I think. Don't drink at work, people, unless you're Appleite. Unless you work at a bar. Oh man, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. All right, so we oh, do have wait. a special announcement today for our Wait, first, wait, wait, what uh, about me? What about me? What about you? I, I thought I was going to go with the thing. The <laughs> thing. Go I was going to talk point. about the sexual harassment PSA. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. All righty. So, how is everybody tonight? So, um, you know, I figured I'd just go over a couple things. Uh, so, I work at an equal opportunity employer. I bartend. So all that really means is that I get sexually harassed in both English and Spanish. So, you know, it's good times. It's good times. Ever been sexually harassed I mean, in Spanish? I mean, have a... I mean, the, the... Oh, man, come on, dude. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I'll be honest, though. That now that I'm getting older, it's nice that I, I tend to not get sexually harassed as often. There's still a couple people at work, but... You know, I mean, don't worry. You can still get dick when you're older, so it's not a problem. They're just, you know, they're just not Especially as vocal. When you're older. I mean, hey, I mean, get some of that al dente dick, right? You know what I mean? That, that's the hard if part. It's not, if it's not great, <laughs> but, I'm not there to play. That's all I'm saying. Oh, anyway, so, yeah, I kind of sometimes miss walking past construction sites. I mean, that was always fun, you know what I mean? They'd be like, how many of these construction workers would be like, hey, babe, why don't I give you a private tour of the inside of this backhoe? I mean, I was offered a few, <laughs> you know, and, and yet by the look of those guys, some of them couldn't even get their crane up. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably had to play with their lever a little bit. <laughs> yes, that's why they made Viagra. <laughs> I mean, honestly, worse yet, ladies, like, I don't know, like, you can't even have a bad day without some creepy old guy, you know, cornering us and coming up to us and be like, hey, baby, you're so beautiful. You need to smile more. And at first I was weirded out. Exactly. But at some point, you know, I stopped, you know, getting creeped out and I would say something crazy like, you can't smile when you're screaming, you know. Huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other times. I I would... Oh, go ahead. It makes go it sound ahead. like you're murdering the old <laughs> no, man. So I think you're different. Oh, okay. I mean, other times I would say something completely random to skeeve them away. Like, I should smile. Do you know what it feels like to have someone spill hot wax on your freshly suckled nipples? Well, do you? Do you? You know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Daddy. Go ahead, Loco. I knew you were crazy like that. I mean, at this <laughs> At this point, most people walk across the street and go, what the fuck did I just walk into? But other times, sometimes, <laughs> you know, it leads into more questionings, forcing me to, like, fake admit something ridiculous. Like, I don't know, like, oh, my gosh, I just hope my boyfriend's testicles are going to pull through after I accidentally, <laughs> after I accidentally ruptured one last night. I <laughs> The look on these people's faces at that point are priceless. And then they completely get horrified to the follow-up of, yeah, and while I was in bed last night, I accidentally dropped a hammer on his right nut. And, then, <laughs> and that's after he already lost the left one due to a bizarre merry-go-round incident. Oh, God. I can't believe really it. No. It's so tragic, you know. I know, play the violin. <laughs> 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 it, 
it's at this point nobody cares to sexually harass me anymore i mean it just sucks women have to make up bullshit stories like this just so they can walk down the fucking street also psa it might be a good idea not to splash hot wax on your girl's nipples while while she playfully dangles the hammer over your junk by not making her jolt when you missed her smile and instead hit her in the back hoe. Okay? What's like, the hammer doing in there? Oh, I, hello. Listen, honey. He's mine. What's the hammer doing in there? Honestly? I mean, look, some of us like to get a little bit freaky, all right? Like, you know, some people like to take, like, a screwdriver, heat it up, and... Stick it in places. Yeah, if you, if you, if you say so. Exactly. You say so. See, I like it's her. Nice. Raven Whisper. Already. Anyway. Well, then- we do get have to... a very special announcement today. Uh, for the first time on our show, we have ooh, what's going on there, buddy? Where is our mom? You okay? <laughs> anyway, All right. Uh, we, do, we do have a special announcement today. Uh, for the first time in our in our on our show, we do have an actual sponsor. Uh, yes. Apple, I want you to say something about that. All right, so no, the, the, for for real, we usually have fake sponsors. Today is the first time, and <laughs> Saul up in the audience, he's the best. I don't know if he's really so, watched the show too many times to understand what the hell he was getting into, but crap. for the first time over, use the promo code. It's five o'clock for a ten percent off your purchase, <laughs> and they have beautiful stuff like wooden laser cut yeah, everything, cutouts everything of the, a cat's ass uh, that you can put your name on you know soon to have actual dog ass. now this is primo lumber okay it is hard hey girl. it is laser cut and it is ready i mean there's a couple images that we couldn't put up there on the site because honestly like you can't really have they have a, a christmas ornament that do bro please don't not today okay love you but already so <laughs> But um, so anyway, so they literally have a Christmas ornament of a gingerbread man riding a dick rocket. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, I mean, they fucking the have that. Though. That shit is like, I mean, that. And yeah. look at the cat's anus. It is red to go. It is red to go. I mean, <laughs> you know. And then you know, coming out with a dog anus. Right? Yes. And, uh, and look at that. Uh, Etsy.com slash shop slash making me pretty close. Uh, they have great, uh, great well, products. We're not great, done uh, yet. Hold on. We're not done we're yet. Not done. Hold I'm on. Telling, no, I was going to say, they on. have a bag of fucking dicks. Look at that. That is a Santa sack yes, full of dicks. That's All right. Right now. <laughs> That is Santa's sack full of <laughs> dick. I mean, there it comes with 10 wooden dicks, hard-ass lumber, ready to, you know, give to your friend. You have that co-worker that is like, hey, fucking Todd, what's up? Like, oh, Steve, <laughs> fuck, you know what I mean? I got you a Christmas gift. Mm. Why, why get them coal? You can literally get them a bag of fucking dick, all right? Like, 10 of them, to be exact. Yeah. Also, they have the 2020 Pandemic Survivor toilet paper roll I really so like you can all... i, I do fun. too they have uh you know counters for magic the gathering tokens you can buy so this is legit an actual thing so etsy.com yep. shop milky way trading post put in the code it's five o'clock somewhere get you your hardwood special, uh, on token get special <laughs> token with your order yes you do uh, get a free token if you use put Oh, okay. If you like high quality wood, you like high quality wooden cutouts of cat ass, you like a good Christmas ornament slash coaster. They actually do have coasters too. This is the place. I mean, look at this. I mean, I'm sorry. We kind of like bent over backwards and wore ourselves out for a real sponsor. I mean, don't call us a sellout, but you know, some people have been selling themselves for years. You wrote me into that. <laughs> you, I, wait, what was that? I rubbed you into that? I'm sure you rub off enough as it is. Guys, so. <laughs> your free token here with the purchase of your order. Uh, Milky Way trading post. Check them out. It's great stuff. Thank get a so bag much. of dicks. And I'm not talking get, yes, about get food. Yourself, get I mean, technically, you can't swallow it, but maybe you can. I mean, I, I have dated a guy one time that. You know, anyway, I'm sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> that porno music for you a little more time, why don't you? All right, ladies and gentlemen, our guest for this evening is the host of the Show Off Show and also producer of uh, Neverland Live. 
right now on all the crazy Let's bring up Mike the Mim. And so, the porn and music. Hey, hey tell <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Doing great. Matt, uh, Mike. What is going on? So those of you who don't know, Mike does a lot of great events. I'm sorry, I just kind of did those of shit. Those, I told you, I should not get drunk before the show or even during the show. Like, that's a problem. Like, I don't have a problem, I but... I can't get drunk on my own show. <laughs> you know, like... But, uh... First step, first step. Yeah, first step. I like to skip right to the 13th step, okay? <laughs> you know, like, and for those of you who don't know, that's like people that go to pick up chicks or I guess guys, in my case, at the AA meetings. I, some people like that rebound pussy. Some people like that yeah. rebound dick. But just remember, yeah, like in right. Pokemon, if the Weedle weeps, don't put your mouth on it, okay? You don't want to. Oh, look, it's so making cats <laughs> in Canada in forever. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good, man. I Nick, right, what is so going Mike, on? Uh, you you host the show off show, uh, and you're know, producing right now. Uh, Neverland Life. What what brought you to you know? What, why what, why did you want to bring that into all space we are? Uh, yeah. So really, right now, there's really not a lot going on in uh, theaters and you know live shows right now because of obvious reasons. And mm -hmm. Alt Space is kind of a place where you can do that without even leaving your, your room, leaving your house. So really the the thought process behind it was, well, we can't do it in real life. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I don't have the money for that. I don't think anybody here does. So why not just do it in Alt Space and uh, create it with people, members in Alt Space, and get a cast yeah. and write a script and do it. So yeah, that's kind of the thought it. process I behind it. I like that it. part. Just do it. <laughs> Or, yeah, much, did you have any uh or me? Any I mean, I'm or single. Yeah, to go back around at all before <laughs> deciding to uh, oh. produce yeah. just a, really a just or... just high school when I was in high school. High school just uh, okay. I was in the drama club, you know. Are, are you 21? Yeah. And if not, say yes because we should have probably vetted <laughs> that you... part first. Oh, yeah. I turned You're... I turned 21 Hold in July. Oh, July. good, good. <laughs> if not, lie to me, <laughs> Daddy. Lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> not about the, not about your size you know, I, though. I don't discriminate. Small centers, big centers. Actually, no, that's you not guys, true. You guys, you guys, you guys that's are not true. watching you. Look at him. Oh, I'm sorry, Sansa. We had your sack on TV earlier. It was great. It was. <laughs> She's been through a lot today. <laughs> Two hours of meeting greets. Ho ho ho! Hey, look, I'm not a fucking uh, hoe, okay? I can't anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no problem, no problem. If I can imagine the multitude of fucking I can swear on this show to myself. Fuck you. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> I can you talking to me? <laughs> I can the star of the show now, uh, so I can imagine the multitude of, of problems you, you come across when trying to uh, put together an entire play on all the plays we are. Uh, what are your limitations and how are you getting over like these hurdles that you might face? Yeah, so we um, really, when I made the auditions, like about a month and a half ago, I really didn't think it would become as big as it has right now. I mean, we already, ha we already have 250 people interested at the moment, and it's not even featured. Wow. Um, so I'm really, I'm really proud of that. And um, really, we've had a lot, <laughs> so many obstacles uh, with Wait, what? front row. Uh, first of all, starting with front row, not allowing us to show our sets in other rooms, so we oh, couldn't use front row for the show event. My sets. So yeah, <laughs> we, had, we had to cap the room out at eighty because we it, with, with that with with two more people are gonna crash and it'll cap. be a disaster. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, so I gotta and getting ask. people. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I, getting people no. there rehearsals is always a hassle too. I mean, with twenty oh, right, twenty four right. people cast, oh, every wow. getting everybody there at one time in all space. That can be kind of a hassle as well, <laughs> trying to get everybody in one yeah, spot. I, can I can't wait. It's hard it's getting you on be a good fucking event. chair every Tuesday. Yeah, I know. Sitting next to me has got to be a pain in my ass, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> um, so, serious question, serious question, Mike. Mm -hmm. So, um, how many people auditioned for your thing? You said that earlier, but how many mm -hmm. ended up mm -hmm. on the casting couch? I really wanted to put the time mm -hmm. in to get, you know, a... A position yeah 
So you know, when I, I hosted all five positions. rehearsals um, oh, okay. back in, I think, early October, um, and five of them, and we had about, I'd say, 50, 50 auditions per audition, so I'd say um, 50 times five, wow. uh, 250. Maybe a little bit less than that. Around, you had two hundred and fifty people on the casting couch. Jesus Christ, you are busy. <laughs> yeah, we had we had two hundred fifty auditions, but only only twenty or so. I think about twenty twenty three of us um, made the cut. So a lot. I mean, a lot of them I couldn't even reach out to because they were online that day, and then they just never came back yeah. online. All space. So I had oh, to get people wow. that were active as well. So uh, some of the cast yeah. is actually here. I think uh, Charles nice. Ace is Captain Hook. He's over there. Oh, I nice. see Nano. She's a moderator. Uh, we got Nano. Uh, Nano. Stage blockers on, but we got a couple other people. Kyler, who plays Santa, he's also here. He plays Michael on the show. Nice. So, a couple people. Yay. <laughs> now, guys, I, I, I think I'm about putting on an event. So after this, you know what I mean? It's called Casting Couch. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like you really got to put the time and effort into getting this position and it, it's so for guys you? and girls or you know whatever it's all good i don't discriminate so um yeah you know it's all good fun <laughs> games and yeah, so did you, did you personally vet every audition that you've seen <laughs> or, or was it are we, are we yeah I pre- with you it was me <laughs> it was me and my uh buddy tango we were kind of the um audition people who who bring people on stage and uh, just give them like a mm-hmm. line to just do or in a little improv or something for the character they wanted to audition for. Right. So yeah, it was just me and my okay. friend. Tango. <clears throat> oh, how Tango. Was, uh, Tango Orange is Yeah, great. Tango. How, how, how was letting people down and being like, no, you suck. You know? <laughs> Honestly, it's it wasn't that bad because it's really if if I message you, you got it. If I don't message you, you didn't get it. So okay. I didn't have to physically tell everybody so you didn't get it. was it like a you know, we'll call you situation, you know? Yeah, we'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So right, call did, us. Did notice how we we have uh, put up the Safe. raise hand button at any point during the show. You can ask uh, Mike here a question or any of us really. Does not have to be anything related to anything? You can ask us what uh, what color that white underwear is. I'm sure she'll answer. <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> I told you last week, Doge, I haven't worn draws since, like, the, the 2000s, okay? I don't like VPL, visible panty line. I think we have a question <laughs> from Raven Whisper. Raven, I mean, honestly, yeah. thongs and jeans things ride up Raven. in places that Raven, I don't really enjoy, questions? you know? So, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I do. So, I kind of missed something in the beginning of this, because everybody's talking over everybody. Mike, what exactly is it... <clears throat> Yeah, I probably should have started with that, huh? I probably should explain what it is for. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We just went right into it. Yeah. 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 So it's a it's on December nineteenth and twenty sixth, both Saturdays. Uh, It's a show called Neverland Live, and it's a entire production or play uh, in a theater in all space. So that's pretty much what it's a story of Peter Pan, pretty much. Yeah. To summarize it, I mean, it, is it a story of Peter Pan after he like you know came down no, from it's, Neverland, or is it like I mean, legit? It's it's like the animated movie from the 1950s. It's pretty I much that. I, uh, I have a buddy. No, I have a buddy who's named Buddy. Right, your your cast. For buddy, Peter yeah, Pan. Mm, uh-huh. yeah, right. great. So, so our friend Buddy um, told us you you didn't give us anything away, but your your doing a, an adaption of something between a hybrid of the the uh, cartoon and the Hook movie? Is that mm-hmm. what you mean? I would say it's 75% animated movie and a, the 25% Hook from uh, nice. Spielberg. It's a combination nice. of both into one. Ooh. Please tell me Pan is the drunk alcoholic type Pan, not the kid Pan. <laughs> I mean, Buddy is a drunk oh, alcoholic. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah. Buddy is the lead? Oh, yeah, Buddy oh is Pan. man, he's not even like 18 yet. Like, he's not, but we needed really a, a kid be, Pan yeah. to play kid. We can't oh, really have some 30 year old being like, Come on, guys! <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, like. <laughs> I mean, the Neverland, I like, is that, never mind, I won't get into it, but I mean, Neverland mm-hmm. seems fun if you were the pirate. Mm-hmm. I mean, 
booze flowed like fucking water there in the hook movie <laughs> like seriously that island is like the size of a quarter it's not even that fucking big where are they getting all this booze from yeah, seriously these are questions, <laughs> these are questions question we need answers all to all person all person yes. wants to go ahead and ask a question oh hey oh, hey oh, how oh. you doing i'm i'm all person uh, Give him a beer. You know who you are. <laughs> I, I had a question, uh, but this is in regards to something you said earlier, uh, Epilite, uh, your casting couch. Um, I just wanted to know, can you guarantee that I'll get a job um, if I, if I um, you know, um, do what it takes? I mean, um, well, I mean, uh, honestly, I, you might need two or three yeah. kind of interviews to really okay. work yeah. your right. skills in. <laughs> yeah. And also on another note, um, I know this that you were talking about your Neverland fantasy. Um, I would, I, I think I could help you with that. Um, oh. I actually already have a hook. Oh. Like I have a hook, but it's detachable, so I could attach other things to it too. Oh, I thought you were going to say it goes yeah. to the left. It, it, your hook goes yeah. to the left or right. <laughs> Well, that was my life. Walls, I guess, that was my but... life in high school. I used to tell the girls, you know, they don't call me Captain Hook for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they call me Captain Cox. <laughs> I thought that was because you typed it. Oh, I love the sound of it. Oh. Is that the surge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, looking for me. So, oh, all right. I gotta ask, so, you can't date me. Do you have any more questions on person? Like, oh, it's private. No, um, no, you can call us just date No, um, Sorry. no, I was just gonna say, uh, say that I think that it's really, it's really cool that you're bringing in theater to alt space. I, I really think, that's think awesome. so too. Mm. Thanks, that's fucking yeah. awesome. We're working hard. <laughs> Ooh, okay, uh, you ain't so, working uh, on me yet. Based on the, uh, the success of, of the Neverland show, do you okay. plan on bringing any other? Uh, no projects into all space. Yeah, um, if it goes, we have two shows. The first one's going to be basically a test, and the 26th mm -hmm. is going to be an improvement. Basically, we're going to watch it over and see what we can do better. Uh, and <laughs> after that, if it goes well, uh, I'm probably going to do Aladdin uh, in the future, oh, maybe cool. this summer. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'd love to get me in a right. bob while. <laughs> 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 we have a question from Charles AC. Charles, why don't you ask us your question? Alright, uh, this is for uh, I'm convinced Epo's fantasy is having sex in every Home Depot in the country. I, don't know, just... I think you yeah. have. Yeah. Well, 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 well. <laughs> I mean, it, what? it's <laughs> close. I actually shop at Lowe's, okay? They have a little bit better customer service. Classy. You know, it's exactly. classier. I like that. It's She's classier. a classy girl. It'd be really I don't, if you did it at the IKEA. Just saying. Well, I, mean, I like that. I don't want a guy's dick to fall off while you know we're busy. You know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta follow what? the instructions. Put it, back on. it means it means you're classy, I mean, yeah. people. I like that. My I don't question, want to be you know, set. You don't like uh, British meatballs? British meatballs. Oh, I don't know. British meatballs. Oh my god. It means that's you're classy. Right that's that's all good. It means Thank you're classy, you, you know. So Thank now I, my question is for Mike the Myth because he's talking about the right. show here. Uh, Mike, yeah. can you uh can you clear up some allegations that you gave a part for questionable Zoom video conferences? Oh, go ahead, Mike. <laughs> I gave a what? Wait, what? I, I didn't know you I had cannot. it in you or her. That's good. So, well, I said, I said, can you claim on the allegations? By the way, I don't know, Mike. This is the first time we don't know. Yeah, we, we've never met. This is a mess. I, <laughs> I think, I think he parked my car once at, at the oh, Burning Man. Shit. I don't know. <laughs> shit. So here, take care of it, guy. Here we go. Okay. Every Anyways, time I hear my question. Burning Man, I think marijuana. <laughs> my question, <laughs> Mike, Mike the Myth, can you comment on allegations that you gave one of the parts to your Neverland Live blockbuster December nineteenth for? Questionable Zoom video conference. This motherfucker got dates. Uh, I really, I, I, I would not like to respond to those allegations by this man I've never met before. I, and I, I would like to not Shit. then further continue for this man I've never met before with a nice blazer. I'll see you at auditions. All right, thank you. Yeah. Right. I think, I think the part. We, we have Surge Bot has a question. <laughs> so. Surge Bot. Surge Bot has, has a question. Oh, God, I know what it is. Will Robots be the end of humanity? Why or why not? Will Robots be the end 
Go ahead. Okay, so I, got, I, I thought I fixed the volume on that, but I guess not. Well, do you think that robots and AI will be the end of humanity? Why or why not? Of course. Me? In my answer yes. question? Yes. Okay. yes. Go ahead. Uh, I think in I think AI is something I, we should be more worried about than actual robots because I feel nice. like robots still are like not as advanced as AI is. I feel like AI is advancing way faster than robots are because with robots we haven't really gotten mm. super far in the past like ten years. So I'd watch out for AI. I don't know if it's gonna end end you say end humanity. Is that what you said? Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna go that far. But maybe I think we're all gonna be gone by then. But maybe in the in the far far future, AI. <laughs> just watch See, out for AI. I'm waiting for Cheers Fallout to Four level sense. That way you can fuck all day and never get pregnant. You know what I mean? Like you, can, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I mean, I gotta say, um, fucking Nick Valentine, he's pretty hot. I tap that bumper. Why do I have my coffee in my hand? <laughs> wow, Nick Valentine. Mm. Yeah, he's and you like cute. it old school. I, I mean, I guess if you like someone with melted <laughs> face, I do. I, I mean... do have a personal question. <laughs> I always ask our our guest, uh, Mike. Do you have any for... memorable, uh, like really embarrassing drunk moments that you can recall? Yeah. Tell us. You know yeah, what? Um, I only started drinking about six months ago. I mean, quote quote unquote drinking. Wait, I, I totally have not drank anything before I was twenty one. I swear. Um, <laughs> yeah, I swear. Uh, honestly, I ended up in a trunk one time. I don't Maybe that's a, a kidnapping. No, I don't remember a lot from it. Yeah. but I, I was in a trunk. That's uh, how you stayed st alive. Yeah, right. I mean that's really all I remember. I came out of it, kind of like just walk into my house, but. I remember I was yeah. in a trunk. That's probably the most <laughs> embarrassing I, mean, I have so far. Honestly, if, if I got kidnapped, I'd be like, look, I don't know nothing. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't suck nothing. I don't, you know, I, mean, I don't know just what let I sucked that night. Um, you know. Um, you know. <laughs> hey. Was that you? That was I got him, bud. I got him. All right, goodbye. When, when I funny, said campfire. suck, I was talking about those little candies that have like the wax little, you know, chewy thing, and uh -huh. you know they got the little like, like an eyedropper worth of juice in there. That's it. I mean, it was mm -hmm. nothing crazy. You know. I think we got a question here from the GS Bureau. GS, why don't you go ahead and ask a question? Oh, um, Ooh. how do I find the Neverland? Uh... Yeah. Oh yeah, so um, really, you can't find it in your menu right now because there's, I don't have any events that are like um, in the event page right now. But if you go to Allspace's website and you just um, scroll down to um, really, you could look it up on the Allspace website. You can check the Discord; it's in the Discord. On um, the link for it is in there. And when I host an event, if you click on my name, you'll just see all my events that I host, and then it will be there as well. Plus, that there will be Ticket Master is selling free tickets for the event. Right? <laughs> Ticket Master, it's all free to <laughs> handing yeah. them out. Um, I, I'll be honest. I gotta say, I love thespians. I mean, they are so hot. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> can you say that again for me? You like what? I mean, thespians. Holy shit! I mean, yeah. especially ones with you know, like them. You know, like the things over the, you know, the, 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 I can't, I yeah, can't. you know. I can't. On stage, like going at it, doing their thespian mm -hmm. things. Doing the best, you know. Uh, well, let's talk to us about the uh, the show off show. When do you host those? Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty much on Thursday and Fridays. Um. And right now it's actually Christmas, Christmas themed. So we got uh, mm -hmm. we got some Christmas decorations and Christmas music right now through December. So yeah, you should check that out Thursdays and uh, Fridays. And it's what an about a Hanukkah favorite. Harry themed? You got Hanukkah Harry in the back Hanukkah of the event somewhere? You know, I was I was I was gonna put a menorah, kind of in like a like a corner maybe just to, you know, I'm actually not even Christian myself, so it kind of be just for, just for me, just my my little menorah. So okay. yeah, but then I just kind of mm -hmm. last last minute I'll, I forgot, but I'll probably add one next week. Nice. 
All right, good stuff, good stuff. So um, I am drinking margaritas, but it's an Italian margarita. You know, Does it have a ring his name it? is Alphonse. But so Doge is drinking beer. Are you drinking any alcoholic beverages on your? Honestly, oh. I knew because if I did, I'd mess something up with the show. So I'd, I'm not drinking <laughs> anything right now. I'm sober. I don't want to. I don't want to skip a question or That's give somebody wrong fun. info. Okay. <laughs> if Psycho is here, it is his 23rd birthday. If you skipped out, tell him I got fucked I up think, early think, and totally forgot. Left. Maybe we gotta go kill him though. No, don't kill him. What a great birthday present. <laughs> yes, man. A man's father. Yeah, got you a birthday present. You no longer have to live. Anyway. You spawned into a great event, so come on down, Lovey. All right? Just, just stay away from that guy. He's kind of a... Uh... Anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, I love your events. It's like a great open mic. I mean, we have Slick Rick in the audience who does um, oh, look, look, comedy Slick open Rick. mic. Yeah, it's right after the show, yeah. You know, right we have show, Evil yeah. Lord in the Flock. They got a couple good events going on. And Mike actually has a really good open mic. Uh, Matty Boy is up there. So if you guys Mike, like Mike open mic open nights, mic. this we got a great crowd in here. So, I mean, it, it's... I like your events because it's singing. It's you know I saw someone try and dance, but how do you really dance with no fucking legs? So it's like <laughs> it's you know a ma the, the magic arms. show was crazy. It was like and for my next trick, I'm gonna be over here. Over <laughs> yeah, I'm like oh Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay. I thought you were sit through those I, I'm I mean, drunk enough where I thought that was like you know, no. That's usually that. my boyfriends after I sleep with them. They just tend not watch me disappear. <laughs> I'm like fuck you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not you know, <laughs> yeah. my wallet, my keys, that bitch. Oh shit! You just got jacked. So, uh, <laughs> if you have any more questions, let us know. We are hitting oh, yeah. the seven forty mark. So, in five uh, minutes, are we doing uh, the second ad? And then we got ten minute closing. So. Bring them. Bring them. so we got five minutes. So, if you have uh, questions, get them in now. And uh, so, yeah, uh, so tell you, us Mike? more you about your event. How do you decided? Us? Maybe, uh, maybe Mike has a question for you. Oh, go ahead, Mike. Talk to me. Like, you know, you can ask me anything, Mike, because I've been on your show, and usually I try out new material on open mm -hmm. mic nights. I saw a beer on the thumbnail. It's fun. Yeah, how long have you I been mean, doing comedy for? I know you're pretty funny. You come on my show all the time. Uh, you crack up the I, crowd. I, I do what I can. So I try new material every so often, usually on this show or in uh, open mic nights. And fucking A, dude. Seriously? Spam messages now? You, get, you know, <laughs> but um, read, them out. read them out loud. Read them hey, out man, loud. You're you're out a dick pic. Get, get all the like, phone, <laughs> phone read all the text messages. Yeah. But um, but no, like I I I've been doing it for a little bit, and at work, you know, it, I do a lot of different stand ups. But then, mm -hmm. as soon as I'm getting doing some open mic nights and other things, fucking COVID hit. So <laughs> I had to keep. You know, trying the new stuff and getting better at it. And I figure the open mic nights in all space are a great place because nobody knows who the fuck I am. And if they do know who I am, they fucking stalked me. I'm watching every last <laughs> fucking one of you cocksuckers, okay? <laughs> but, uh, you know, so it's fun. And you have a great event. I am actually performing Thanks. again on Thursday on the Fail to Render. And uh, I think I'm second. Yeah. I was supposed to be second last week, but uh, somehow I got bumped to Epilite. fifth. Or... Epilite, you're always yeah. second in my heart. Okay, well, you know, you always need a sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> but bitch, your wife is here. You're not supposed to say that out loud. Your wife is here. That's like Jackie Kennedy and like Marilyn Monroe. Like, bitch, the fuck? Like, you know? But anyway, I'm sure she knew what was going on. She loved the sheets in the White House, though. But anyway, so <laughs> Mike, talk, talk to us, talk to us. Um, so how did you start those events? Those, you know, yeah. like uh, it, it's got to be not when did you, easy. When did you to... get into the community aspect of all space? Uh, what made um, you start? Honestly, I just kind of wanted to. Um, I really wanted to like do a cool like nightclub kind of event. And like Unity, and I worked with Cause with that, and then we designed a, a nice space with kind of a dance floor in the middle and kind of three boards. 
around so it kind of like it encompasses the whole kind of kind of room and then i was like well okay so now we got a nightclub going now i gotta think of what am i gonna use it for what am i gonna use this night is it gonna be like a party venue is it gonna be rented out for people (laughs) what am i gonna do what am i gonna do with this so i was like but everybody just do have you seen your bottom half there's nothing there just hear the drink Smoother than a Ken doll down there. <laughs> Look, I'll be honest. I went to a lesbian bar, and let me tell you, like, I was going to say this thing, but this Russian chick somehow always knew how to take her knee, rub the right places, and make me want to smoke after I got done dancing with her. So I'm sure you can figure something out in fucking all space. <laughs> oh, just oh, saying. Question, like, just yeah, fucking a, saying. A question from Davenport. <laughs> I like that name. It sounds like a news reporter. Davenport. Why don't you Let's smoke at Davenport. Oh, Talk Hello. to us, Davenport. Hello. Question uh, for pretty much everyone and, and Mike as well. I know some of the cast for Neverland Live are here tonight and just like to meet everyone and uh, get them to come up on stage and introduce themselves. Sure. For all the people um, that are working hard for yeah, okay, Neverland Live. Yeah, let's do that. Um, <laughs> right, no. uh, yeah, well, that's a great idea. We'll do that at the end. Yeah, we'll do that towards the end of the show. Why don't we do that? And, and uh, we, we put this episode on YouTube as long as I didn't get drunk before oh, yeah. the show and we, forgot to yeah, record like the one channel. time. But you know, yeah, but you <laughs> channel that Apple Light seldom <laughs> uploaded on if she's sober enough. Well, 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 uh, well, well, well. <laughs> what had happened was, yeah, all right, I got fucking drunk. I forgot. I think they said but, after the end. <laughs> VR arcade, yeah, but right, right before the end. We'll do that at like the, the seven fifty mark because at VR about a minute. On YouTube, you can check out all our stuff on there. Uh, Apple yeah. Live also has an OnlyFans, if you're interested. Uh, oh, so we got Nick in Canada, then we'll go to our second ad. And Nick in Canada, hit us with your All question. Right. It's good to All see right. you again. I'm gonna um, has there been though. any more weird pictures sent to the alt, uh, the 5 o'clock somewhere email? All right, I want to know. No, uh, well, the one time we did get that extra not. dick pic... The second time, it was at least a better <laughs> dick pic, but it was, you know, they know but no, not after those quick. two. And whoever no, did it, y'all should go see a doctor, you know, because y'all, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, honestly, so, so I haven't seen some dicks. We, we have, that's, we have mm, a company email, right? We'll shoot the email up on the board later, but we have a company email where if you email us, uh, you can ask us to know if you want to be a guest on our show or any other good thing like that. And, uh, you know, they thought Epilite here answered the emails or something because it sent a nice, it sent us a big picture. Uh, but it looked pretty inflamed and uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, how are you gonna send a dick pic like that? That shit was fucked up. I'm just like, but what do you go to the MD website and find out what dick looks sick and fucking post that shit to us? I was like, that was like, like the god that I've ever seen. You know? Anyway, anyway, let's get to our next ad. We're at the 45 right, minute mark. And gentlemen, we have a sponsor for you this evening. Uh, as you may know, um, our sponsors are how we pay the bills. Should we clarify? The, the first episode. sponsor was fucking real. All right, that's a legit <laughs> fucking ad. This ad <laughs> is real. Quotation <laughs> marks. Real. The oh, last right. one. Have... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a sponsor for you. Oh, evening. my goodness, I like that. Us. Mike the Myth, yeah, buy him. He's only twelve ninety nine. Anyway, oh, I mean, does uh, mushrooms look like? Yeah, that's, anyway, that's a good price. Anyway, uh, so this sponsor uh, wants to talk to you about a nifty little service they have. So, um, this is kind of questionable. But who are we to turn down a sponsorship? You know, uh, no, no, you, not us. You pay a subscription fee, right? And this is an easy way to make passive income. You rent a hobo. And they will panhandle for you. Suji, why don't you come up on here and talk to you? I am coming up up here. Oh, dear, oh, Lord. Looks like the town I'm from. 
Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Five O'Clock Somewhere again. We got to keep the lights on somehow because Surgebot is going to get pretty tired in his fucking hamster wheel that we keep him in otherwise. So here we've got Hobos for Hire with a small fee of $29.99 per month. You can hire your own fucking hobo to go ahead, <laughs> sit on the side of the road with a little cup and a little f very realistic, authentic sign cardboard smeared in chicken grease that says... <laughs> I need money. I work for five o'clock somewhere. Please, I need another job. You could put them in front of your competition. So here we got yes. one of our. <laughs> you picked we the go. location. <laughs> Well, one of our model hobos here, you can see he's got a little dog with his little rucksack over his shoulder. Or should I say his rough sack? No dogs were harmed in the making rough of this sack? company by the, the rough sack. Not the kind you're thinking of because oh, this is involving it. a dog. <laughs> he's got a little rucksack. Very authentic. No dogs were harmed in the making of this subscription service. Um, he's got his nice um, bandana. He's looking a little like it's Ricardo a there. I thought those were potato <laughs> chips, but let's just say that he gets his own little bag of potato chips, too, to just really sell the deal. And the clothes we provide our hobos for hire, we personally put them underneath our car, rev the engine a few times, dipped it in the Dollar oh. General dumpster out back, and had handed it back. It's all a part of the de deal. Now, you might be thinking, this may be inhumane. What about these poor actors? But let me tell you, they get treated very well. At night, they get the nicest trash bags to sleep on at home, just to keep the character up. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have it. Hobos for Hire. $29.99 a month. You use the code, promo code, 5 o'clock somewhere. You get that dog thrown in free. And if you're really nice to the uh, marketing assistant, you can get a little scruffy kitty, too. Um, adopt, don't shop. So here's one thing about this. Now, this service is you actually pay the $30 fee. They send a person out to the location and then like it's no startup fee you actually you know once they make that thirty dollar income in that location the rest is yours until the next month so it's like a monthly fee of thirty dollars they go to the, your place of choice and panhandle for you so you don't physically have to go out there okay nobody wants to show up to panhandle in an escalade when you can hire somebody for thirty dollars to do it for you so this is the latest in multi-level marketing and you too who can be a business owner for hobos? Hobosforhire.com. Rent your very own hobo today and uh, make some passive income. I'm, I'm sure you'll, you'll love this service. I mean, I did have a problem with this service. One time I gave them a beer to, like, literally fucking, like, get into the character. <laughs> and I, I ended up, you know, uh, fuck it. I'm not going to say how I went down on them, but like, you got, 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 got into character. Okay. This is a life hack. If you need a photo that won't take food off you, but only the man's cash, that's probably why. Yeah. They work for the hobos for hire. Anyway. That is true. Oh my gosh, yo. In Philly, that seriously, that happens. Now. Like, I, I stopped. This guy was like, oh, I'm hungry. I'm really starving. And like, look, I lived in Fort Lauderdale. I took, you know, I did help out homeless people and this and. <laughs> So in Philly, I was like, okay, let me get this guy a sandwich. I got him like fucking three sandwiches. I figured like, look, this is like, you know, meal for later, whatever. The dude threw the shit back at me. Like, I, I wanted fucking a $5. I'm like, bitch, what? Yeah, like, seriously. I'm like, yo, you ain't homeless. Like, fucking Christ, right, man. So like, my limit, we got anyway. About 10 minutes. That's uh, a true story. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> So, I mean, I could tell you about your, Mike in Florida, your, but your, how's your experience been uh, on here? Pretty good. I like it. I like. The, I've been coming to the show for a, a couple months, and it's, nice. it's fun. It's fun every time. Mike, I've got I a mean, question, and I don't know if you've answered already yet. Um, how did you come to Alt Space? Oh, hey, that's a good question. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I just I got a um. Well, actually, it's funny. I had to go uh, about about a year and a half ago. I got and I hopped on Alt Space for the first time, and uh, it was way different back then. Uh, I had a lot of friends, and then I got rid of that go, 
and uh, my account with it, and I completely lost that account. So I had to make a new account when I got a quest. <laughs> I lost all my friends. And um, really, so I just have... I came back because I like the community, you know? Nice, nice. Do we have any good cast of Neverland uh, up on the stage still? Or are all you guys up on here? I think they're in the crowd somewhere. Some of them. Are they in the crowd somewhere? Uh, a couple of them, I well, only yeah, let, two or three. Let's get a couple. Of, let's open the stage up. So let's if get, you're in yeah, let's there. Get, let's get a couple... Let's put a couple of the cast up here. Uh, if you are in the Neverland production, why don't you come forward? We'll give you stage access. And if you want to be a part of the casting couch, the VIP room the back there will couch. also be <laughs> will so also be open uh, for later. Your hand button, you, okay. get you, you know Where, what happens? You, no, you need to click to raise that and small inches be. Oh Let's shit! Well, I was just gonna thing, open it up way. for everybody. No, what are you doing? Are you fucking insane? Are you drunk? No, well, I mean, you're the one that told me to get drunk. Maybe. Yeah. I just told them I was going to open up the VIP room. Let's get Saul up here. Fucking hey, dude. That's our real sponsor for the first time. Hello, hello. Hey, Saul, I'm going to get you up here, too, okay? We we, we okay. sold out to the Party man tonight. Here. So, hold on. Let me get so The man. I mean, I guess. I, I know you're married, so I'm going to try and... All right, anxious. Uh, so how's your how's your experience been in the uh, Neverland production? Is uh, the mic, uh, you know, working too hard with the you to the bone? Bone. Um. No, there's a lot of uh, people in the cast. Okay. He's kind of nice about it, which is bad for a director. Oh, is it bad? I guess okay. too nice. You too nice. You gotta start yeah, being too nice to the cast, man. You gotta, you gotta start being very, very angry, Mike. Yeah. I know because yeah, I'm trying to be nice because, because I'm not. It's not like I'm, I'm, I'm getting does. paid. It's just, I it's do. just for you know, like, for fun. I can't, I can't yeah. be like, God, you fucking piece of shit. One of these, one of these. Uh, He's like, Epo, take off your clothes. What the fuck? I'm like, dude. <laughs> like, it's, on the show, not yet. On the show. Like, we're like, co-hosts. Step out of line. Like I, I dangle the threat of like you know you dangle. Like, he dangles. No, I like, threat. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can never replace search bot. Alrighty, guys. So, thank you so much, Mike, for coming. Do you have any final questions? Any final words to say to the audience? Beans. Uh, no, thanks wait, for wait, having me. Wait, we still got like five uh, minutes. Let's get the whole cast. Why are you so gonna, nice to us? I'm gonna put this up here because again, this is our sponsor. Uh, yeah, our this is a. Sponsor. It's no, we we've never had port. this before. Pink post, yeah, I think right? Saul accidentally got booted up to the front because of the stage blocker. Oh. Uh, you didn't yeah. get so, Milky well, Way fuck. He's here in guys. Uh, use the code, it's 5 o'clock, and you get 10% off your purchase. You also get a special uh, free, it's 5 o'clock somewhere token with your order. Uh, com Literally. Trading post. You can buy a gingerbread man riding a a, a dick rocket with yes, you, whoever's they, name they on it. Some... You can personalize it with a name on it, okay? Like, you're not going to get yeah. that at fucking, like, I don't know. You're not going to go to Walmart, Walmart and be like, hey, let me get a gingerbread man riding a dick. A Christmas ornament. It's not going to happen, <laughs> okay? Which Walmart you go to. But, uh, like, you know, I mean, you can ask if you're not a coward. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> what? And look, you can get a Christmas ornament with your name on it around a cat or dog's ass, a bag yeah, of dicks. Everything you is know, literally. Crafted, uh, I'm telling you what, wood. I'm actually going to buy the 2020 Pandemic Survivor toilet <clears throat> paper roll as a thing. I might, I don't know if I'm going to buy the bag of dicks. Like, I get enough offers, but at the same it time. Gonna... Bag of dicks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Uh, if you do have any last questions, ladies and gentlemen, click on the raise hand button now, and then uh, we'll get to those as soon as we can, as fast as we can. Uh, we have four, three fast. minutes. Well, I know, you pretty finish fast, fast right? all the time. You'll be like, oh, that's... <laughs> you know what? You know what? I feel like... I've never heard you complain. <laughs> I know, it's oh, true. Oof. I mean, sometimes I like the little pocket rocket, you know? <laughs> I was a little late to the draw there. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I could have been a little bit louder, but... 
Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Uh, yeah, go grab yourself one of these bad boys and uh, use the promo code. Saul is here. Look at Saul, that beautiful son of a bitch over there. Hey, one way he come back. Hey, Saul, so, welcome back. Uh, right. Any final Mike? words, Mike? Mike, your final words? You know, uh, thanks for having me, and go see uh, Neverland Live December 19th. I, I think, Live. too, we are getting uh, DJ Loot back as a guest, so because we didn't have enough time, he's right over there. Um, you want to talk about it. funny pictures? He sent us a couple at the website. You know, like the last time he, he we interviewed him, he showed us a picture of him on his wedding. Uh, what was it? His wedding reception, passed out, drunk, throwing up over the side party. of a window. Yeah. He yeah. says he's got a better picture than that for next interview. Ooh, Is he next? Right. Is he next? Thank you so much, Mike. The minute so, for coming up on stage. We might next. get Mike back yeah. because we really didn't talk about as much. So we want to, you know. Maybe after the show. Here for no. promotion. It's promotion. Well, yeah, but we're going to promote his show next week and the following week because that's what we exactly. do. We talk about it First until I get nice drunk and forget. Point. But at the same time, Doge <laughs> is usually more responsible. And so we're going to keep guys. bringing it up. Check out Neverland Live, the production on December 19th. Uh, First All Space uh, Live Play. It's going to be great. You have a specially made uh, stage, uh, right? Especially main on? stage. No, it's a special. What did you say? Oh, special. Custom. Especially. <laughs> and, and it looks pretty good. They got like moving parts and everything. Mm -hmm. really moving nice. parts, you say? Shut <laughs> <laughs> up. Oh. Anyway, right. Thank you, uh, guys. You do <laughs> uh, love you all. Uh, you know, yada yada. Epilite. Yada 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 yada. yada. Check out Eagle Lord. Check out Slick Rick's comedy after this. Check out Mike's comedy events. And check out Matt the Scientist who already left. Channel, so we got check this shit channel. out. We are we yes. on YouTube.com. We also have we are the... Uh, what do we have? I don't even know. Hit, hit him with the website. If you want to be a guest on our show, hit it. He's going to put the... Web oh, fuck. I ain't fucked up. So um, hit it's him the with the, 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 the <laughs> website, dude. The The email. Hit them with five show, email, bro. Uh, five somewhere show yeah. at gmail.com. If you want to, uh, and don't suck, there. okay? Sometimes we don't get spend, guests no, that suck more dick it. than I don't even know. All right? Like, yeah. don't, don't, don't be that person. Pictures, don't send us the pictures. But if you want to get to my show, get us up there. Thank you guys for coming. We do this every Tuesday. It's bad for my liver, but we do this every Tuesday. Uh, thank you for coming out tonight. Head over to Flick Rick's Comedy Club after this show. Uh, yeah. mwah, mwah, mwah. You, you are so sexy. What, 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 where's your wife? Is she still here? Whoa. Is she? <laughs> I mean, uh, is... And that's the show, Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Um, 